It is hard to think about warming oceans when there's still snow on the ground, but it is a year round problem that's not going away anytime soon. For the past few years, the North Atlantic has been among the fastest warming oceans in the world, and no part of the North Atlantic is heating up faster than the Gulf of Maine. You only have to look at the weather we've had this past winter to see its effects. Don Kerrigan connects the dots for us in this week's report on Maine's changing climate. Two days before Christmas, the Maine coast was clobbered by winds and seas. Stronger, wilder than many had seen in years. Record tides swamped many spots. Was it all a warning? Humanity has a really difficult time visualizing what they haven't seen before. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges in responding to climate change. Dr. David Reed Miller is director of the climate change program at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. But that storm on December 23rd, I think was a real eye opener for a lot of us that, you know, that happened in the blizzard of 78 and stuff, right? When you have these big moments, they're, you know, as, as awful as they can be in certain ways, they're also really important teachable moments. The Institute has just released its annual report on ocean temperatures in the Gulf of Maine. They monitor sea surface temperatures to get an annual average. The biggest message was that last year was the second warmest year on record. Uh, the only year that beat it was the year prior in 2021. Uh, and I think it's part of a, a, a continual trend that we've seen uh, over the past probably at least two decades here. Give us a couple of numbers about, about these temperatures. Last year was, I believe, about almost four degrees Fahrenheit above the long-term average. Which for the ocean, he says, is a big increase. Scientists say the Gulf of Maine continues warming at a faster rate than almost any other part of the ocean in the world. Why is that? Were we late to the game? Did it take us a long <laughs> no. time to start warming? Yeah, or? it's a great question. One, what we suspect may be the biggest driver is some of the changes that are happening in these large-scale ocean currents, particularly the changing influence of the Labrador current versus the Gulf Stream. Researchers say the warm Gulf Stream flowing up from the south has started to push away the colder water of the Labrador current coming down from the north right at the widest part of the Gulf of Maine. That Gulf Stream historically has really been much more focused like a, kind of the, the, the jet setting on a, on a garden hose. But what we've seen over time, especially in the past decade, is that it's almost like you've turned the dial of that garden hose to the shower setting. And so it's a bit of a wider uh, expanse. And so that heat energy is now kind of pouring over or spilling into the Gulf of Maine. What are we seeing to date from those impacts? I think one of the more underappreciated aspects of a warming ocean is sea level rise. As water gets warmer, he explains, it expands, and that's what's happening to the ocean. We've seen rates of sea level rise here in the Gulf of Maine that are higher than the national average, higher than the global average. Sea levels have risen by about eight inches uh, in the Gulf of Maine since about the past hundred years or so. That December storm had it all. Powerful winds and a storm surge combined with a king tide and rising sea level. But there's also an impact on marine life. There are some, some species that have had impacts for sure. You know, I mean, some people might uh, link things like uh, the northern shrimp and, and the appearance of uh, long finned squid uh, as an example, the uh, appearance of uh, uh, species like uh, black sea bass and even blue crab um, are, are certain things that, that have not historically uh, occurred with any sort of regularity in this region and now they're becoming increasingly frequent. Is all the warming coming from climate change? Reed Miller says that's a legitimate question, but says there is no question much of it is coming from the climate. And a big cool down is not coming. And you don't go back to where it was in 2000. That's exactly right. Certainly not any time in our lifetime. He says that adds to both the urgency and the worry. Curing the planet's fever will take a long time. The only way we're going to really change that is by collectively reducing greenhouse gas emissions around the world. That said, Maine could eliminate greenhouse gas emissions entirely, mm -hmm. and it's not going to change the Gulf of Maine. That's absolutely right. Yeah, that's why it is the quintessential collective action problem. We really do need everyone, all hands on deck, to, to take action. And even if we could cut to zero emissions, 
He says temperatures in the atmosphere would begin cooling in a decade or so. For the ocean, he says, perhaps centuries. In Portland, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.